It's results day, but after grade deflation, how did A-level and other students fare in our region? Well, next to A-level and other exam results, it was indeed an early start this morning for thousands of students and their parents, of course, with the nerve-wracking wait for those grades. So, how did it go for those opening those all-important envelopes? Well, our own Ian Haslam spent the morning at Blackburn College. The proudest mum in Blackburn right now, are you? I'm, I think I'm the proudest mum in England. It's going to be the first doctor in the family. And hopefully many more to come. So, I'm going to study medicine. <laughs> I'm just happy that I've gotten into my university to study my dream course. We then watched another BTEC student, Miriam, find out how she'd done. Oh, oh my god, I got three D stars. I got a triple distinction star by the looks of it. And I'm really happy with that. That's that's amazing. Man. I got a D star, D star, D star. That's better than what I was thinking. It's better than you expected. I went to Lancaster University to uh, study accountancy and finance for the next four years. <laughs> the nerves, oh my god. All right, so I have done a level three foundation diploma in art and design, and I have achieved a DS, which is Distinction Star, which is the highest you can get. So fantastic. But also, I think we have to remember these cohort of students, it's their first time they've sat external exams in four years. So I did a foundation degree in art and design, and I got a DS, which is Distinction Star, so also the highest you can get. It's fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. Nationally, thousands of courses remain on offer. Ian Haslam, BBC Northwest Tonight. Over at Blackpool and the Fylde College, T or technical level results were being celebrated. I've got a distinction. You got a distinction? Yeah. The qualification mixes academic and vocational skills with work placements, with the hope of keeping their talent in town. We've got 94% uh, have passed their T level. It's a new qualification. The quality of the curriculum is very, very strong, very relevant to the workplace, and it has a very strong employer placement in there, which the learners find invaluable and which employers think very highly of. So my next step is a software engineer a degree apprenticeship scheme, a BAE. It's a four-year course studying at UCLan. Uh, I'm really happy about this because since a uh, young age, me and my cousins, who luckily both work there now as well, we've always been interested in playing. Well, our reporter Andy Mitchell is at Blackpool and the Fylde College for us this morning. Thanks a lot, Shaz, and welcome back to Blackpool and the Fylde College here at the Bispam campus where I've got a, a couple of students who've uh, just opened their results and uh, the smiles on the faces here, which is great news. Jessica, how did you do? Um, I got um, a distinction, um, which is equivalent to three A-levels. Um, I'm so pleased with it. It made my day. Um, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go on to teaching and learning support at Blackpool and Fire College Uni. That's absolutely amazing. So, is that what something you had always wanted to do? Yes. Yeah, so I always wanted to be a teacher ever since I was little. I grew up. I was like, um, I want to be a teacher. <laughs> um, but it's helped me so much. The teachers at placement have helped me so much. It's given me the information that I need. So, why T levels then? Why didn't you go the A level route? Uh, the T-levels give you a more practical route than the A-levels do. So th with the T-levels you get um, more like placements and more hands-on experience, but with the A-levels you don't. So you've had the chance actually to get out into the workplace then, have you? Yes. Tell me about that, what happened? Um, so in our course, for the second year, you get three observations in your teaching setting. So mine's a primary school. And you've got to um, plan the lessons, um, take a group out, and then you get obser observed um, there and you get your results later on. So really then it's like a sort of uh, it's like a test thing really yeah. isn't it? Uh, yeah. uh, a bit of an apprenticeship if you like. Yeah it's much more hands-on and um, it helps you with the skills that you need later on to become the teacher. That's brilliant congratulations and Thank good you. luck with the teaching career.